Hey, welcome back to Dayton Library Metro Arts Club. This is Dwayne Daniel, and I am presenting the second part of drawing. This time we're, we're dealing with form. First, we have the light source. Second, we have the highlight. Third, we have what's called the shadow core. Reflected light. Cast shadow. We can walk around on any sunny day and look at anything that we can see and you're going to see these particular parts of um, light on every object that we experience. And that's what this is about. Okay? And these are things that we will consider anytime we are dealing with building objects. And at this, bit, this time, I have moved to the drawing paper. I have moved to the drawing paper. And we will use the tools that I'll be using here. I will be using, and I just took the kneadable eraser. It started out as a little square. It was fresh. And now the kneadable eraser it, I begin to pull it apart and put it back together. This is actually the, going to be the way that we will clean this thing so it has multiple uses. So once it gets dirty, don't worry about it's dirty and I'll have to, it's, it's of no more use. We'll just need it and pull it, together, pull, it, pull it apart and bring it back together. And this is the way that we actually clean it. So this thing can be used for a very long time. And it's very useful when it comes to charcoal, okay? The art gum will look like this. It has a, a, a very, very clean shape. And we'll talk about some of their uses as we go. Now, if I am drawing this from observation, we're going to take into the considerations of the things that we talked about before, even though the surface of this paper is a little bit different. Okay. I have to plan. I have to plan for the ingredients that I think I will need for this particular composition. Okay. I am using my plumb line to, de to determine the angle of some of the things that's happening in the environment to keep me from assuming and actually drawing straight through. I'm not pressing hard, but I am just pressing hard enough to make sure that everything is covered. Okay. It's important. Making sure that everything is covered here. And at this point, I'm taking a paper towel and actually wiping some of the debris across the surface. Increasing the presence of the things that we see as far as the object is concerned. Again, I am not concerned about 
how pretty the object is, what I'm doing at this particular point is simply drawing the reason that I see it based on the information that the light has been providing. Okay. This is what we are dealing with. I am simply making a statement about this particular object. And I'll take the paper towel again and mash the charcoal into the pores of the paper. This can happen with, with almost any shape that we see. And since this object happens to be relatively light, it is light, not relatively light. With some of the debris from the charcoal as I wipe and mash this into the pores of the paper. To separate my object from the surface that is actually sitting on. This is where the kneadable eraser will come in. I'll take the kneadable eraser and shape it. And I'm not using this as an instrument to correct mistakes. I'm using this as a drawing instrument. And so now, on, on the lit side of the object, you can begin to bring out some of the areas that are really light and help to help to describe that okay. so that the viewer has the information that is needed to discern whatever the object is that we are describing okay making sure that the shadows are doing what they're supposed to do And remember, this is not about trying to make the object extremely pretty. It is about defining the object. In this setup, I have two objects and I'm deciding on where I want these objects to, to be. Pretty much getting the placement established. Size relationships, of course. And we can adjust them. And as I look, and see that it's probably a little bit bigger than I need it to be, I can always make, go back to the basics. And it's important not to, to be afraid to do that, because remember, you have all the freedom that you need. These are structural marks. That's what we are dealing with here, okay? I wanna make sure that the things that I'm putting in here are doing what I need them to do. We are experimenting to see how the light will dance off of these objects. All the marks that I put here, nothing is permanent. They're all adjustable, all adjustable. Still whisper marks. Hmm? It's really no need for an eraser at this point. 
And remember, I'm just giving you some things to think about. This doesn't mean that this is the only way to do this. Please know that, okay? But this is some things to think about uh, for anybody that is searching. And I know I like to watch things that other artists do. Even if I think I know what they're doing, I know what's going on. But by watching and paying attention sometimes, a lot of times actually, they will present nuances that I was not familiar with. Okay? And I love when that happens and it still happens to this day. I am looking at the shapes of the shadows now. So all I'm doing at this particular point is drawing the shapes that the shadows present. Now remember, we're not trying to make the objects pretty. We're just simply recording the reason that we see the objects. That's what we are doing here. Now I began to deal with some of the cast shadows. Anytime we find ourselves in a situation where we are confused about the line, line, the way objects are lined up or the way um, a piece of information might be presented, whether it's horizontal, vertical, or to what angle it might be, we can always use that plumb line. We can always use that. Make sure that it stays vertical. Make sure that it stays vertical. And once we do that, we can bring it back and it's going to give us information because we're constantly comparing what we see here to what we see here. And again, I am going in with paper towels and just really connecting with why we see the object. That's all this is. Why we see the object. That's all we're dealing with here. We can really give ourselves a lot of headache worrying about how pretty the image is. And I don't want you stuck on that. Again, I happen to be using paper towels. But we can also use the kneadable eraser. We can use the art gum. Part of the reason I'm doing this is because the platform on which the objects are sitting is not extremely, it's not, it's not, it's not white.
And the very last thing I would do is take my little bit of eraser, shape it to the edges that I need. And now I think I need a knife and begin to pull some of the charcoal out of those extreme highlight areas. Okay, that concludes this second section, my second section in drawing, uh, um, creating form, Dayton Metro Library Arts Club. Thank you, I'll see you next time.